We're going to make this ball bounce around the four walls and end up back at its start point. Now the whole of this animation goes on for 40 frames. So we want it to bounce once on the 10th frame, that'll all be on this wall, once on the 20th frame off this wall, once off the 30th frame off this wall, and then on the final 40th frame it'll be back to the beginning again. So how do we do that? Well on the 10th frame we need it to bounce from here up to here. So what do we do? We right click on this timeline, the ball timeline, and create motion tween. Then we select the 10th frame very carefully making sure it is the 10th frame on the ball layer. And then we can use the selection tool clicking this button here and move it to where we want it to bounce. Now you'll notice I've got tweening, onion skinning on. That's really useful because it tells us where the ball has been. Okay, so that's the 10th frame. Now if you move to the 20th, click the 20th frame on the ball layer, you can move the ball again to the next wall. Do the same on the 30th, making sure you're on the right layer and on the right frame. Moving it across to this wall. And then on the 40th, it's the same kind of thing, but it's a bit tricky. Make sure your these brackets relate to the onion skin and we need it to go exactly where it started. So if you drag this bracket right back to the beginning, the onion skin tells you where it was at the start point. You can just see it here, which allows me to select frame 40. Very important to do that. And then move the ball finally back to the start point. So let's see if that worked. If I click control and test movie, you can see that the ball is bouncing. To get rid of this preview window all you have to do is look across to the right and click this X here. Now you can use the next video to add some sound.